hello and welcome to episode 62 of series 2 of Become a Legend Story Mode. Now it's very easy to chuck around words like season defining episode, but today's episode is without a doubt a season defining episode. Let's take a quick look at our schedule. Well, first off, it's not an easy start. It's an FA Cup semi-final. And then a couple of friendlies we're not going to be playing. And then boom! <laughs> it's a huge one. First leg, Champions League quarterfinals. We're at the Etihad. We invite PSG. Full of superstars. Full of quite a lot of Gabby's uh, Brazil teammates as well. Just to spice things up a little bit more. If we lose both of these... Okay, we can't really we can't lose this quarterfinal in this episode. But if by the end of the next episode, well, I mean the next episode's crazy as well. Assuming we don't play the Palace game, we've got PSG and then United in the league. But uh, yeah, if we lose to PSG and we go out of the cup, then I'm just going to sim the rest of the season because that's it. We're done. We need a new uh, a new challenge. But for now, for now, the two cups are still on the league. Not so much, but the two cups definitely. Definitely within our grasp. And I would love an FA Cup win for Gabby. If we are going to leave England, and we're not going to leave uh, having won the league, this is the one that you want, obviously. I mean, it's the only other one, except for the Charity Shield or the League Cup. This is the one. An ancient, much storied and romantic club competition that I'd be proud to win. Absolutely would be. So, we're alongside Lacquer again. That's been working okay. Aguero on the bench. He's on poor form. But uh, yeah, Gabby and Laka on green arrows. That's uh, that's a positive start. Torre and Gundo. And Torre's actually been putting in some good performances. Oxlade Chamberlain, consistently awful. Awful. But that back three, that'll do nicely. That's fine. Quick look at Liverpool, as we know. Not the side that you might recognise. They've still got Coutinho. He starts on the bench today. Perhaps struggling with a slight injury. Uh, they've brought Ryan Fraser in from Bournemouth. And Vargas, we knew about. And uh, a few... Yeah, it's slightly dubious signings by the looks of it. Some 60 rateds in the uh, back line. We've played them a lot of times. I can't remember what our record is against them. But uh, yeah, this is a do or die semi-final matchup. Let's get into it. So Guardiola is generally within his time in England taking these cups pretty seriously. Doesn't feel particularly weak in sides. I mean, there's so much rotation you can do in a Man City side and still field. An 11 that's stronger than most, but uh, yeah, he takes it seriously and he's put out a very strong side today. Be great to get through to an FA Cup final. I think he knows that the league is already gone, even though we do play United in the next episode. It's going to be too far away, even if we were to uh, get back three points off them. I think that's done. So, FA Cup and maybe stretch target of the Champions League. That's got to be our goal. Come on then. Some nice back heels there from Manchester City and Sterling's been played into a bit of space here. Got Lacazette and Gabby Twain for far post looking for Gabby. What have you done there, Gabby? What have you done? Did he fall? Was there an imaginary sniper? I don't know what happened there. Don't know how he hit the ground, but he did. And Gundogan can't find him. It's unfortunate. It's one of the few good crosses we've had this season. Gabby was so shocked. Didn't look like he could adjust to it. Interesting. Gabby now. He's going to look for the run of Yaya Toure. Oh, gets onto that one. Steps inside of Matip neatly. All across to Lacazette. Yes, great start. Great work from Gabby. Didn't give up and uh, unselfishly squared it. And 22 minutes in. Yeah, we're off the mark here. Lovely. Lovely work. Gabby's ball into Yaya Torre. There wasn't the best, but he snuck in and grabbed it back off Vargas. Lovely. Turn back inside of Matip, and that's a lovely Frenish. A lovely Frenish? I was going to say it was a lovely finish from the Frenchman. But uh, as you know, that's also called a Frenish. A French finish. What, what the hell am I talking? It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Let's keep our heads together. Plenty of game left to mess this up. It's Manchester City. Certainly are capable of this season. Toure into Gabby. Turns away from Emre Chan. With ease. And now he can slip through. Yaya Toure. Lovely ball. Into the veterans. Away from Matip. Good hit. Good hit, Yaya. We know he can still put a rocket behind him. Not got the uh, quite got the galloping pace that he used to through the centre. Would have been able to pull away from Matip. It wasn't the best first touch. Got the shot in just wide. A second goal in this first half would be huge. All over the top. Testing Matip for pace. Oh, he's made a mistake. Gabby into the box. Fuck! Why? Why have you curled it? It's just my... I think what it is. He's obviously is an Arsenal fan. Always been... I mean, a lifelong Thierry Henry fan as well. And, uh, you know, that's, that's my standard for finishing. And in that position, Thierry would have just wrapped it. Into the uh, keeper's right-hand post. But, yep, Gabby doesn't quite have that ability. 
And a simpler finish there would have surely been two goals. Ferreira pokes it out to Illich. Liverpool looking to get back in this one. That's a good ball into Firmino, his header. Into the gloves of Edison. First bit of danger here as this first half nearly draws to a close. Gabby did have a good chance to make it too. It looks like it's going to be the uh, first half goal from Lacazette. That's the difference here. And it is. Yeah, well, that's fine. That's fine. We've looked fairly comfortable. Not had as much possession, but we haven't managed to uh, allow Liverpool a shot on target. Let's keep it up. Come on. Oh, Lacazette lets it run. He's not going to get there, though. Oh, he's nicked it. Can we stay on side here? Ball into Gabby. Oh! Oh, 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 wow. Wow. That would have been something special. Ryan Fraser now puts an early ball in, looking for Vargas. Lovely take on the chest. Effort comes in. And it's one all. Oh. That, I mean, that's a good goal. Nothing more to say about that, really. It's good work. Vincent Company again. Maybe showing his age here. A younger man. Oh, no. Vincent Company was nowhere near it. Rudiger, Fernandinho. Neither of them acted. And, uh, ah. I mean, we were looking comfortable. But we've been unpicked here. I'm pretty sure last time we played them, Vargas did score. And that's a great finish, actually. Great control on the chest. Back to the drawing board here. The shouts of Wembley, Wembley. It's going to have to finish for a minute. Lacazette plays in Gabby. Matt's it with him. Gabby inside onto his right foot. No, he hits it with the left, the outside of the boot. That is a cultured finish from a man in excellent goal scoring form. And we're going to Wembley. Sings out from the Manchester City travelling fans. What an occasion this would be if Gabby could have got the winner. And this could well be the winner. Could have get? I've no idea what I'm talking about. I'm really struggling today. But Gabby does really well there inside of Matip, who's been giving absolute nightmares to all game. Just had too much pace there. Low centre of gravity. Kept hold of the ball. And then, uh, yeah, he's not that handy with his right foot. But we all know what he can do with his left. I mean, there's no way that Matip should have been allowing him a turn like that. He did slide in, but Gabby finished well. And we're up again. Come on, let's hold on to this. Oh, mistake there. Gabby pounces on it. Once again, Matip having nightmares. Gabby finds Oxlade-Chamberlain. Looks for Lacazette in the box. Oh, Lovren missed it. Lacazette missed it. That should have been the third goal there. That should have been game over. Firmino now back to Illich. He cuts back in. He's got Fraser edge of the box. He's allowed to take a touch. It's not cleared. Firmino. Still. Coutinho now the substitute. Don't let him shoot. Fraser. Oh, Firmino. Off the post. Get it away. Get it away. Ho, ho, ho. This is turning into a classic. Markovic, the substitute, wins it back from Gabby. And now Matip, who's pushed his way up front. Firmino through. No, 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 no. And they're level again. Let's take another look at that. Well, it was Gabby. You lost the ball in the build-up. It's the substitute, Lazar Markovic. Lazar? La Lazar? La uh, what? Oh, God. This is turning into a classic, but also one not good for the heart. Oh, so Chamberlain does well. Company through to Gabby. Inside of Chan. Gabby! Oh, Carius with a great save to prevent Gabby getting the third, but we've won it back. Oh, he's away from Markovic. Lovely work to the line now. We'll float it in. It's got Oxley Chamberlain at the far post. Couldn't get to it. Gabby into Lacazette. Emre Chan's holding him up. Gabby now into the box. Cuts inside. On the right foot. Oh, no. Should have got it back. This has turned into the most ridiculous game ever. Only two minutes left. Both sides are putting everything forward. But there's so many mistakes being made. That's a good ball out to Oxlade-Chamberlain. Gets there ahead of Pi, but the ball back isn't the right one. Lacazette puts a hopeful one into Lovren. Almost nicked it back there. Oh, and it is full time. And it's going to go to extra time here. <laughs> that last ten minutes is absolute carnage. I've actually lost my voice. I don't think I've ever shouted this much at a game in real life. Or oh, on Pez. It's incredible. Can't believe we gave up the lead twice. We had chances at the end. Both sides did to win it. It's going to go to extra time here. And then potentially penalties. This is a big one. I'm enjoying this a lot. Gabby wins it back. Ball into company. Still playing as a centre forward. Lacazette. Lovely reverse ball. Now Sadio Mane. Can he find Gabby? Oh, it's a great ball. Incredible save by Carrius. Off the line. So many chances in this one. Can't believe we didn't manage to put that away. It was a great ball in from Mane. Oof. 
We can slip that in. Have a chance here, though, to put another ball into the box. Lacazette, surely! Oh, my God. Carrius having the game of his life. Gabby slips in Mane. He's got three to aim for in the box here. Puts a good ball into Gabby. He'll turn back inside, surely! Oh, my God. Carrius is keeping everything out. It's been incredible. Gabby holds off Markovic. Get the shot away with the left. No way. No, oh my God. Well, it's half time here in extra time. I've lost, I've run out of expletives and superlatives to describe this one. It's been an incredible, incredible game. Can we finish it off in this second half of extra time? Well, we've had so many chances. Gabby's running on fumes now. I'd be surprised if he isn't substituted. They may not even have any substitutes left. Oh my God, no. Vargas. Loads of space here for the first goal scorer. Good ball in. Looking for Firmino. That's very calm defending, but that isn't that isn't at all. Illich. Oh, Edison saves. Lacazette now into Gabby. He's away from Pai. Has to play it out to Mane. He's got company and Gabby to aim for in the box. Puts it in. Oof, Lovren heads away. Great ball out. Oh, Torre gets there. Can he put a ball into Gabby? <laughs> Carry it off his line. Unbelievable. Game of his life. And that is it. Full time here. I can't believe we didn't win that. I just can't believe it. I mean, you've got to blame Gabby. He had so many chances. But Karius has had the game of his life. Right? Penalties it is. So let's take a look. Well, Gabby second to take a penalty. Liverpool look to have the weaker penalty takers. Although we've got Mangala in for some reason at number five. Well, it all comes down to this. Will we make it through to an FA Cup final? What stands between us is the lottery of penalties. And with Karius on the form that he's been... You'd expect him to be good, but that's a great first penalty there from Lacazette. Setting the standard here. Big Bobby Firmino. Captain for Liverpool. Goes low. Goes, uh, sends Edison the wrong way. And now Gabby. Come on. You've missed so many chances in this game. Scored a good one. Carrier's kept him out three or four times. Going to go same spot. As for me, no. Yes. Nice. Come on. That's it. Gabby's done his bit now. Vargas. Good penalty. Good penalty. We'll keep it moving. David Silva. Just imagine it's a pass. And the net is your player you're passing to. Not the keeper. Oh. Well, that's uh, first blood there. And now Markovic. Dispossessed Gabby in the build-up straight at Edison. Good save from the Brazilian. And now Sadio Mane. You'd expect him to put this away. Carry us. Oh, no. Against his own so old side. It's a good save from Carrius. And now Daniel Sturridge. Ah, that's a good penalty. Oh, we're going to... Oh, I don't believe it. And it's Mangala of all. Mangala of all of our players to step up here. And he's, he's put it away just about. It wasn't the best penalty. It all comes down to this. Liverpool will go through. Coutinho can put this away. You'd expect him to. And he does. Oh, well, that's one cup out the window. It's one cup done and dusted. We had the chances to win it. That first half of extra time. I mean, Karius made some excellent saves. Gabby should have finished one of them. It's the story of our season. If Gabby's not scoring, we're not winning. And, uh, oh, that's such a shame. I still have yet to win an FA Cup across either series on this channel since the very beginning. It's got to be five or six, maybe seven attempts. And I've totally lost my voice now as well. Let's see if we can do any better against PSG. I find it hard to believe. And it's going to be a Merseyside derby for the final. At least that's good for uh, entertainment value, but not for Manchester City and not for Gabby, whose limp season continues to get worse and worse. So interesting, we've been given the nickname The Terrible. The Terrible. Well, that certainly applies after that last game, but not in probably, I'm hoping, at least, the way that they've given it to us. So with a couple of friendlies out of the way, we drew 0-0 with England and managed to beat Denmark 3-1. We're back into the Champions League and it's Gabi Guerra reunited. Gabi's still on good form. He did play well. He did play well. Up against the PSG side, we've got Neymar, Draxler, Pastore, all on the bench. Di Maria, they've brought Thomas Lamar. What a signing. What a team this is. An incredible side. For some reason, they've made the interesting decision to sign both Mustafi and Bellerin. I wouldn't advise that personally, but obviously it's working for them. Can we get something today? Can we uh, keep PSG out at least? 
at the Etihad. That would be a, a good result. A nil-nil would be fine. Be absolutely fine. Let's go. So I don't know necessarily which way is the best way round to have a, uh, a two-legged Champions League tie. I would say home leg first would be my preference. I don't know. Maybe not. But I, I like the idea of knowing where you are after the first game. Hopefully keeping it tight at home. And then being able to get all guns blazing with a better idea of what you're up against in the second leg. And get the away goals to win it. I don't know. I don't know. At the moment, I just don't know what to think anymore. Kept out by an absolutely mesmeric Carrius performance in the FA Cup's Cup semi-final. Gabby needs to come back. He needs to show that he can score goals in these big games. That's what people want from him. That's what's going to get him a, a move to another big club. We need big game players. It's good to have Aguero back alongside us. Lacazette was okay, actually. But, uh, God, it's got, to be, it's got to be kept tight today. We can't allow them to score two, three goals, even if we do score that many as well. Because then we'll be in a horrible position when we go to Paris. Let's go. Come on. Good leap from Gabby there. Finds Aguero. Lovely first touch from him. And if Silva can do what I think he can, he's going to find Sane. Square ball is available. What are you doing? Do something. No, no. Do something is all I could muster there as we somehow managed to ruin that chance. It's a great ball into Leroy Sane. Just a first time ball into Gabby would have done it. And a first time shot from Aguero there would have at least worked the keeper, I'm sure. A bit of indecision there, preventing us creating a really, really solid chance. So PSG dominating possession here in the first 24 minutes. 55 to our 45. Ball into Cavani. Back to Rabio. Thomas Lamar will turn. Shot comes it. Whoop. Get it. No. Away. 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 Oh, my God. Cavani just about gets to it. Now Silva can find Gabby. It looks like if we're going to do anything in this game, it's going to be on the break. Can Aguero push it wide to Leroy Sané now in a bit of space? Gabby breaking his balls to get in here, and that's not a bad ball. Oh, Kazawa comes across. Edison Cavani now out to Lamar. PSG flooding forward. Thomas Lamar back in. Oh, John Stones does really well there. But we didn't give him an out ball. And now Kazawa will have it. Kazawa steps back in. Danger here. Di Maria. Wow. Edison doing a carrius there. Great save. Lamar now into Cavani. John Stones on him. Is that a shot or is it a cross? I don't know, but it caused trouble for Edison. Sane will get to this, though. It's good running. Finds Gabby. And that is half time here at the Etihad. Nil nil. That's fine. We said we'd take nil nil. But PSG putting all of the pressure on in that first half. More chances, more possession. Every time they had the ball, they just looked so dangerous. We're going to really need to dig deep in this second half. Come on. Come on. Break is on here and Cavani finds Lamar with a lovely ball. No, 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 no. John Stones comes over to deal with it. It's a good ball in. Looking for Cavani again. Should be able to get this away. Don't mess around with it. Don't mess around. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the away goal. There's the away goal. For, for, oh, Otamendi has been the biggest liability, I would say, out of all the centre-backs this season. Just, I just I don't have the energy today for this. Gabby finds Aguero. Battles with Verratti. Sane, good ball in. Gabby can't get to it, but it will fall to Aguero here. Oh, oh. Marquinhos gets a block in. Could do with a goal now. Aguero, nice back hit into Gabby. Going to battle with Mustafi. Can poke it into Aguero. That's a great ball. Aguero, surely. No. Sergio. The Etihad fans. Heads in hands. That should have been one all. Really well delayed by Gabby. Perfect ball. Took it on the run. Took a touch. It's an incredible save. We're just not putting our chances away in these crucial games. And it's costing us. And that's cost Aguero his spot on the field. Lacazette comes on. Once again, it's too close to the keeper. Gabby turns. Hits it. Oh, again. What more does he need to do? And he kicks at the grass in frustration. He has done everything you could ask for him, I would say, in this game and the last. Maybe not this game. But in the last game, it was so many chances like this. That was drilled hard and low. That was going in. Another great save. Two in a row. Oh, that's a lovely header from Gabby. Can Lacazette find the right ball? Surely now. The lob is on. No, just didn't put enough on it. I can't believe it. 
can't believe it. Oh, that was perfect. Great header from Gabby. And he's on his bike. That's a perfect ball. Gabby just didn't put anywhere close to enough on it. Too conservative with his effort. We're going to have to go to Paris and get two goals. Oh, <laughs> so frustrating. So frustrating. Every bone in my body wants to just pull out all the cords and play that again. But just to, just to mention, I've never ever done that and never ever will. We just have to learn to deal with the frustration. Tolerate the despair. I've lost everything today. I've lost my sanity. As you've probably noticed from the commentary and my voice, you probably noticed that as well. God, God damn. So there we go. Well, at least it's only one. At least it's only one. Barcelona beating Real Madrid 3-0. Besiktas overcoming Benfica. They look like they're through and Dortmund comfortable over Spurs. We're still in it. We are still in it. But we've made things very difficult for ourselves. So there we go. I know some of you will be absolutely tearing your hair out. Will be screaming at me. How have I missed that many chances? There's nothing I can say. There's nothing. I'm just not very good at this game. I'll see you in a bit.